good is from yes, comes from God. I want to thank God for those of you that are viewing in. As I said, the, the Facebook family, I call y'all Knights of Faith because you all are lifting up and continuing to put God's word forward. I appreciate you viewing in. Uh, I appreciate you sparing and sharing the word of God with the people in Facebook land. Today, today, I want y'all to join in with me. Uh, and those of you at home, as well as those that are here. Because your home, that's your church, amen? And you are the church. And so today, we want to just lift up God and let him know that he, we worship him. And we adore the Lord. Come on, you can sing with me in Facebook land. Come on. Come. Come, let us adore him.
For no man can do these things, these miracles that thou doest, except be with God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter second time to his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily I say unto thee, Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Verse 7, Marvel not, but I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. Our Father and our God, we come thank you the master for your word. We thank you for your great sacrifice on Calvary and for the redemption of our soul. Today, Lord, we come to celebrate Jesus and all of his great power. And we thank you, Lord, for saving our soul. Died on Calvary. Rose on the third day. Now you make an intercession for our soul. We, the people of God, we thank you, Lord. And we appreciate you being a part of your kingdom. Thank you for the privilege in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, we thank God for those of you that are viewing in. And we ask that you share today's message on Facebook to get the word out like to faith that we can do that. Amen. God is so good. Because you know, might seem difficult, but we come a long way, y'all. Yeah. And we're going to go a long way. Amen. We come this
grandmother Berkey used to say.
we will never change, Lord. The new life for a religious man. Nicodemus, Sister Rose, was a religious man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Many have religion, but not spiritual reality. There's a lot of folk that are religious. Amen. But they have no spiritual reality. They're religious in the fact that they follow the law. They follow the ceremonies to the left, but there's no spiritual attachment to it. Amen? And Nicodemus was a religious man. Nicodemus was an educated man. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. Amen? Nicodemus was well versed in the Hebrew religion. Many have a form of godliness, but not by faith. Many of us have a form of godliness. We believe in God. He's the creator of the heaven and earth. But we have no faith in what God is able to do for you. Uh, the only time we have faith in what God has to do for us is it's an I, mind me blessing. You know, we love them, I, mind, me, me, bless. Uh, bless me all the way, mm -hmm. irregardless of what's going on. They have a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. Well, they know that God is able to do, but they don't have faith in what he will do. All right, all right. right now, we're in the condition where we got to have faith in what we know what God what uh, will yeah. do. God will protect you. Yeah. God will see you through. Well, even if the virus gets you, guess what? Then you're on your way to heaven. Amen. You win every, you win all the way. Amen? Don't look at it and say, oh, yeah, it's a horrible thing. But guess what? The thing with this is that you have faith in God that he's able to bring you through. Yeah. So many of you can have form of godliness but not faith. Uh -huh. Amen? We act religious on Sunday. Yeah, come on. And then we stop being religious. Chris, after one o'clock on Sunday. Amen. Yeah, that's the time. Right? 
Why? Because we have a form of godliness, but we don't have what? Faith. Yeah. It's that faith that keeps you moving from one stage to the other. Why? Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It may not look right right now, yeah. but keep the faith in God to know that he will see you through it and you can make it. Is it going to be easy? No. But you can make it. Amen? Mm -hmm. In this text, a religious man learns about life. He began to learn something new. You know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But this old dog was taught a new trick. Amen? And so therefore, uh, 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 why wisely is a preacher, he often uh, preached on being born again. Sister Renee and many others sang that song, You Must Be Born Again. And the answer, his answer is because you must be born again. You must be. That's a must. Amen? Uh, they that believe in God, we are a new creation. Amen? That means that you, the faith in Christ, the result of it, is that you will be born again. Now, with that, you, there's no question that being born again, that a metamorphosis may, must take place. There must be a change somewhere. Say amen. Amen. Uh, a man who learns about being born again, the body Nicodemus and his need. In verses 1 and 2, Nicodemus had a great need. Amen. And he was a ruler of the Jews, Nicodemus was. And so he had authority. Amen? Amen. Uh, probably was afraid. Now, he went to Jesus by night because he was probably afraid to be seen. He didn't want the boys to see. You know? Because Jesus wasn't a top, hot topic at the time. Well, he was a hot topic, matter of fact. And so it was kind of a shame factor. But he knew he needed some information from Jesus that he was lacking. He was religious, but he wasn't spiritual. And so therefore, the Bible let us know that he slipped to Jesus by night in order to communicate with him. Afraid he might uh, lose credibility with his friend. You know, like said before, we don't want to be around because we say, like, we don't want to be a what? Associate. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll lose our status. Mm -hmm. and so Nicodemus understood that. So therefore, he searched Jesus out by well, don't get mad at Nicodemus because a lot of us seek Jesus out at night. Okay. Amen. On, Late in the midnight hour. Amen. Now. All things seem quiet. And when you don't have no answers from your friends and nobody can bring you out of that tight yeah. spot, yeah. then what do you do? You seek Jesus by night. Yes, Even though you might be well versed. Right Amen on the condition. Nicodemus was well versed on the environment of Jesus but yet he knew, I know that I'm not supposed to be seen with this man but this man has an answer for me. Don't you need an answer? You want that answer? Am I born again? Yes. Jesus said you must be what? Born again. When Nicodemus came to Jesus he had heard about his miracle. They're talking about this man that he's a Galilean peasant. There's nothing to him. He's trying to overthrow. But yet I've seen this man heal multitudes of people, feed individuals. I've seen him act and, 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 and be in others' lives and conform and change their lives. Then I'm missing something. I know I'm a religious man and I've studied all the laws of the Hebrew nation. But yet there's something about this Jesus. Something about that name Jesus. And it's the sweetest name. Yeah. I know. Nicodemus couldn't shake it. I say he couldn't what? He couldn't shake it. So he said, I, he thought about it. This man do miracles. He believed God was with him. God has to be with this man because this man has gone through and really changed the culture of our government. Why Nicodemus came to Jesus? What Nicodemus did not need what Nicodemus did not need, he did not need religion, for he was a Pharisee. So it didn't come to Jesus to talk about religion. Amen? Because he was a what? A Pharisee. 
What he did not need was a claim. Because he was a ruler of the Jews. So he wasn't looking for a dollar when he went to Jesus by night. Uh, he didn't recognize this real need until he was with Jesus. He didn't recognize his need until he went before Christ. Yeah. And a lot of us, when we insert to something, you don't really, you have an unction of what you need, but you don't really know until it's fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Nicodemus had an idea. Something was missing in his religion. Yes, Amen? And he know that the only way to complete it was to see this man called Jesus. When he talked to Jesus in verse 3 to verse 7, the Savior and his strange statement. Jesus made strange statements. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Amen? Jesus was available even at night. Think about it. So, guess what? Whatever you want to call on it, yeah. I say you can call on it. Hallelujah. Whatever you need it, oh, yeah, yeah. you can call on it. Why? Because he is calling up. Yeah. Call him up. And he will be available for you. Jesus was available even at night. He was never too tired or too busy for people. Jesus always had time for those who came to him. Now, if you, you feel you want to slow down, go to Jesus. Take out time on your knees. Take out time reading his word. Take out time talking to him. Go to what? Go to Jesus. Don't only go to it when problems come. Don't only go to him when things are hard. Go with him when things are all right. You got money in the bank and food in the refrigerator and your children are all doing right. Then you just praise his holy name all the time. Say amen. But here, Nicodemus, he said, I, I need to see him. Jesus went past the words of Nicodemus to his real problem. He stated all that. He went to Nicodemus' real problem. He knew why. He had been there. I don't know why he came with it. He understood the problems and the troubles. He knew about the upsets and the home problems and the dread and the death. And the time. Christ knows all that, but yet he looked past that to get to Nicodemus' real question, with Nicodemus' real problem, what he was touched with. He had a lot of religious, but he wasn't spiritual. And so Jesus told him, except a man be born again, no way can he enter into the kingdom of God. No other way can he be sure of heaven. So Nicodemus said, wait a minute. How can a man be born when he's old? I'm a grown man. Come on, come on. Does that mean I have to go back to my mother's womb? Uh, Jesus, you're confusing me. Nicodemus was confused about this strange statement because it was a strange statement. He thinks Jesus was talking about another physical birth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the thing between being religious uh -huh. and spiritual. Being religious, you can't see the spiritual aspect, aspect of God. So he didn't understand what it means. He said, wait a minute, do I have to be physically born again? He couldn't make that transition from being religious to being what? Spiritual. Christ made it clear. Verse 3 to 16, when you read that, he makes it clear to him. He says, the answer to the question of a religious man, this is not another physical bird. Amen? That which is born of the flesh, he says, is what? Flesh. Okay? But that which is born of the spirit is spirit. This is a what? Spiritual bird. I am a glass because of artist glass and marjorie glass. That's of the flesh. I'm born again because of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hung, bled, and died on Calvary, and I accept him as Lord and Savior, amen, based on my faith. And the result of my faith is I'm born again. You got to be transformed. You no longer can be a caterpillar. You must be a butterfly. See, the thing is, a lot of us are still in that caterpillar stage. Amen. And what the Lord is saying that all you got to do is take time out and cocoon your spirit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Amen. Amen. See, a caterpillar, they slow down and they cocoon themselves on a leaf well, or a branch. Well, within that, they make that transformation. Yeah. Well, have you been cocooned? Have you been cocooned with the Holy Spirit? Oh have you been cocooned 
Stand there and wait on the Lord when you can renew your strength. Have you been cocooned to be knowing that whatever is going on out there with you, you can have peace and joy that you have Jesus in your life. Amen? And so therefore, Jesus made it clear. Amen? It's not another what? Physical birth. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. This is a spiritual birth. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. How can these things be? He says, clearing up, or clears up the confusion. Let's clear it up. Uh, here, Moses, in the wilderness, he brought out a serpent on a stick. And those that looked toward the serpent was healed. Amen? From their physical ailments. Don't you see? Amen? So now for we have the cross. Mm -hmm. Those that look to the cross yes, Lord. will be healed from your sinful ailments. Yes. Amen? Yes. Keep your eyes, what? Hallelujah. On the prize. Yes, Keep your eyes on what? On Christ. Because oh, yeah. my main goal is to continue to live a life of being what? Born yes. again. Yes. My life of being cocooned by Jesus Christ as a caterpillar and turned into a butterfly for Jesus. Amen? Yes. That's why all I do is talk about Jesus. I spread his word, amen. I try to impress, impress upon his people that they must be born again. The Israelites who looked for faith to live. And that's what we got to do. We got to, they looked upon that in order to live. We got to be the same way. Those who look to Jesus in faith receive eternal life. Amen. I thank you, Lord, for that. Amen? Because he gave us an opportunity. And the result of it is being born what? Again. I don't know about you, but I, I, I am born again. I know I'm not the same man I used to be. Oh, I, I, I got my flaws. Don't get me wrong. Amen? But I look to the appeals of what's coming my help. And my help coming from the Lord. I know the result of my faith in Christ is the fact that I'm born again. I don't talk the way I used to talk. Oh, no. I don't act the way I used to act. Amen? Amen. And so all of that is the fact that I want to put out to the people of God. Yeah. Amen? That this change, a wonderful change, you know that song said, what more change yes, has come over me? Yeah. That's when you jump from being spiritual, I mean from being physical yeah, yeah, and religious yeah. to being what? Spiritual. Uh -huh. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. We will mount up as wings of eagles. Amen? Just keep on hanging in there and keep the faith. Because being born again, that means that what? You're on your way to heaven. But you must be born again. God bless you and keep you in our prayer. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And those who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. What a mighty God. That's why. My heart. Yes. That's why my heart is here.
we have Cash App that you can get on uh, Cash App and give to this ministry. Also, tightly, uh, it's been showing up on the screen. And we thank you. We need your support during this time of trial. But we know that God will see each of us. And remember, the seed that you sow here in this ministry, the crop is going to grow in your house with everlasting love that continue to be there. Strength from on high. Amen. And a continued rain down blessings. So we thank you for what you're able